Hey everybody, welcome to the next part of the Blender Thor Hammer tutorial. Today, we are going to be making the textures and make this look a little bit more dirty and more like Thor's actual hammer. So to start, I'm going to select it and make these textures along here kind of pop out at you. So now, if you see, I'm already on my image texture to where the top is. So we're going to be focusing on the side for this one though. So I'm going to switch over to that material. And then we are going to copy what we do on the side and put it onto the top. So what we are going to start with is unplug this base color, move this down here, press shift A to add in a vector bump. We can plug this into the normal and then plug the height into the color. Now if you see what this bump does is it pretty much controls the, it basically takes the image and makes it like almost work with the lighting, affects our lighting. So if you see here, it is making that bumpy and if we take the metallic all the way up, it is now a shiny kind of bumpy. I'm going to take the, I'm going to keep the roughness where it was. Now the sides are being affected by the lighting, which is a great start. Um, now what I'm going to do is add in a, another node here, so shift A, and this is going to be an input texture coordinate. And what this does is it just makes sure that it aligns with the um, object correctly. So I'm going to connect the object into the vector. Oopsies. So I need UV into the vector. And that just makes it line up a little bit better. And you can increase the distance if you want. There to be less distance. If you want it to be like only a little bit affecting our lighting. And then the strength down to, so if you want it to, basically does the same thing as distance. Okay, now what I'm going to do is copy this. So I can go shift, sorry, command C, just copy and paste it into our top man V to just paste it. Now what I'm going to do is replace this image here with this image. So I'm going to delete this, left click, delete, put the height into the object, and then just put this in the middle of that. And that automatically snaps it back together. Put the normal into the normal. I did the same thing again where I put it into the object. Okay, so now it is not metallic. So all I'm going to do is take this metallic and crank it all the way up and now it kind of matches this which is perfect so now we have our um engraved texture engraved which is great next thing we're going to do is add in a kind of a dirty texture to our metal which is done really easily. So I'm going to go to our metal texture and I'm going to move this principal BSDF. What we're going to do is a mix two textures together to make this kind of look dirty. So what we're going to do is sh shift D this principal BSDF which just duplicates it. Then we're going to shift A a shader mix shader and this just mix mixes the shaders together so you gotta plug them both in there 
and if I change the color of this to like purple or something, it's now mixing both of these, and if I control the fact here, it kind of mix them, mixes them. I'm going to actually just make this black because it's making it dirty and turn the metallic down. And I'm going to take the roughness down a little bit too. So now two different textures. So what I have to do here, this back to where it was, is in order to make these kind of mix together and have kind of the little bit of noise with the black texture and have them kind of mix together in a cool way to make it kind of look dirty, you're going to have to add in a color ramp. So this is a converter color ramp. And just move it up here. Put the color into the factor. And now, if I move this, you have a little bit more control over which color is being used. But this is still not what we want. We want them to kind of glump together. So how we do this is we're going to add in a noise texture. So texture, noise texture. Plug the fact into the fact. And now you can adjust how much black you want. And we're going to also add in a input texture coordinate. And this one I think it's going to be object into the vector. Oopsies, the UV into the vector. Perfect. And you can mess around with these. For mine, it's looking pretty good. I might want to change the scale just a little bit. And then the detail, I'm going to crank up to 9. So now we got some dirty metal, which is perfect. Now we need to scale this up a little bit. Now what we're going to do is do the same thing for our other metal, which is this material down here. How we can just copy and paste this again. So just copy all of this, but not this principle here. So I'm just going to go command C and then go into my um, material here that is the gold and I'm going to go command V to paste it and then I can just put it down here Oopsies. this plug the shader into the VSDF and the shader into there and that is just gonna make it dirty you can adjust kind of the settings because this is probably a large, too large, you can't see how it's dirty, so you can adjust this scale here. If I control shift, click on this, which by the way is using an add-on that comes with Blender, which is the Node Wrangler. I can now use this to see what I'm doing. This one was actually connected to the object. And now it is looking correct. So if we scale this back up, so that's kind of a dirty look. We can now change that back to white. And this one, I'm just gonna make a little bit more dirty because I'm guessing, I'm guessing Thor's hands are always dirty all those bad guys he's dueling. And now I can control shift click on my mix shader and it just brings it back and now our metal is a little bit more dirty. And the last thing that I'm going to do is just make my leather material look leathery. So back in my leather area, I can just command V my whole texture in here again because I'm just going to use it to make it look dirty. So I can put the shader into the shader and then this into there. 
and change the object, change it from UV to object. Now, if I can control shift click on my uh, color ramp, you can now see that it's working. And this is just going to start on creating a dirty. Actually, works better on UV for this one. But now I can change the scale and just create kind of a dirty handle like I always do. So, Control Shift, click on that mix shader again. And now you can see that it's dirty. And now I'm going to add another texture to kind of create that bump thing that we did up here to make it look more leathery. So I'm going to go shift to A, add in a texture. This texture is going to be a Veronimo texture. Okay. So now that we have our Veronimo texture in, I can add in a bump. So vector bump, pretty much the same thing we did for the um, one up here, now if we zoom in here, you can see our texture, it's actually position, sorry, and then I can control, and I'm going to add in another, um, node, which is the input texture coordinate, this one also goes into the UV here, and now I can turn the scale down. Something kind of fall, uh, something kind of small. And then the strength down here too. And that'll create kind of our leather texture, which is what we want. So now that we have finished up our texturing, I added in an HDR, which I got from Polygon. That was the result of my finished render. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you soon, I hope, on my next tutorial. I don't know what I'm making, but if you liked this tutorial where I made something from a movie, you guys can suggest another thing that I can make in a tutorial series. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.